All right, guys, so I figured since the Alabama game is about to come on <coughs> in a few minutes, I decided um, to go ahead and do a quick comparison video. Uh, actually, the video I wanted to upload today is one, it's a surprise video, uh, me and another YouTuber, my man Matt from over at uh, Georgia Gent. Uh, we actually went to our local, one of our local islands here, and we did a comparison video. Um, not really a head-to-head -head video as two like fragrances, but just two um, fragrances that are highly popular. Uh, one of them was the Pineapple Vintage um, Extreme version, Extreme Gold, I think it was, and... I had brought with me a decant of Office for Men from Jeremy Fragrance. And um, I've smelled it and I thought it was okay. It's, you know, it didn't seem groundbreaking to me. Uh, a lot of other people reviewed it. They said the same thing. It's not a fragrance that's going to wow you or anything like that. But, um, I'm not going to spoil the video if you want to know more about it since I can't upload it on my channel because he edit, got it edited a little and he tried to send it to me but the format was too long or too big for him to send it to me so I can't get it. I told him don't worry about it just upload it to your channel and we'll go from there. So if anyone wants to see this video and which I think you'll like it. Go over to Georgia Gent, subscribe to my man's channel, uh, my man Matt, and check out that video. It should either be uploaded by now or it should be uploading soon. I'm not sure. But just subscribe to my man's channel and go ahead and watch the video. I think you guys will like it. Me and Matt had a lot of fun over on St. Simon's Island recording this video. I will say that I see why a lot of people don't do those type videos as much because it's a lot of work um, just walking around and asking people alone if they would want like to be in a video to smell a fragrance that even if it's in a bottle like this people are skeptical because we had one uh, shoot that we did it was two guys and one of the guys was like well why is one bottle a full bottle like that and the other one is something small like this. And he was kind of iffy about it. And I was like, well, this particular fragrance costs you 180 something dollars or whatever Office for Men costs. And somebody decanted me some out of their bottle. And they're not going to send me like a, a large amount for free when they paid a whole bunch. of. So I had to break it down to him. And he was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. So... Check that video out over on Georgia Gent, G-E-O-R-G-I-A-G-E-N-T. Make sure you subscribe to my man's channel. Check out that video. Hopefully, I can somehow get it over on my channel also, but if not, it is what it is. Um, but we had a lot of fun today doing this, uh, a lot of interesting videos, and you'll be surprised at which fragrance actually won the comparison. So check that out. Fragrance I wore today, you just saw me hold it up. One I talked about several times before. It is Versace Man O Fresh. This is, for me, a.k.a. the roach spray of my collection. I don't know what it is. This particular fragrance gives me a roach spray from Ray Type 5. I don't understand it. But the performance... And if you see in that video I was just talking about with me and Matt just did, I was sweating like hell. Like I had lotion on my arms. I got on what I have on now, the tank top shirt, the balling shorts. I got my flip flops on. And um, I was sweating profusely. And I can still smell it. Of course, I have to get kind of close to my arm to smell it. It's a skin scent by now. But it's still there. Off of my shirt, it's still projecting. Um, not a bad fragrance, perfect for weather like this when it's hot, 90 something degrees outside, I'm on the beach, chilling, 
But um, it performs well. It smells nice to other people on me. For some reason, I don't know if it's the star fruit or what's in this that causes me to smell like causes it to smell like it had is a roach spray, a raid roach spray type vibe. That's what I get from this. I'm sorry if people are offended by it. Not everything performs the way it's supposed to on everybody. This just gives me that roach spray type vibe. I can't explain it. Everybody around me likes the scent. They say it smells good. Oh, you smell so nice. I can smell you coming down the hallway and all I get is roach spray. So, not a bad fragrance. Just don't let that deter you from buying it. I actually like this one a lot. I really do. It smells great. I just get a roach spray type vibe from it. Simple as that. So, my comparison video is actually from two different houses. And it came to me last minute because I was trying to find something actually to take with me to do the comparison of the Pineapple Vintage um, Extreme Gold to try and make it kind of even. I was I took Pineapple, what is it? The Emperor, Emperor Extract from Pineapple Vintage. I took that with me. It was a little sample of it, but when I pulled... Uh, office for men out of the bag and showed it to him his eyes kind of lit up like oh that's interesting let's let's try this so that's what we did but i changed my mind and i actually sprayed both of these fragrances on these napkins before i left and the one i actually was going to take with me on the island was la venture which is one of those creed aventus clones Smells nice. I like this one a lot. And the other one I did was Insurrection Pure 2. Which is another Creed Aventus clone. And I actually like this one a lot. As well as La Venture. So. La Venture is here. And it's still kicking. And this was hours ago when I sprayed these. Still kicking. So, which one do I like best? I would have to say scent-wise, I'm going to have to go with Insurrection Pure 2. Um, to me, it's just a softer, smoother smell. And I've gotten a lot of compliments when wearing this one to work. Literally, like I did. La Venture smells great. It's just sharper and a little bit harsher and stronger to me than Insurrection. And actually off of this tissue, it's, it's on there. It's just not as... It's just not as... Um, I don't smell it as much as I can smell the Insurrection. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and refresh both napkins. Now, performance wise, obviously, La Venture by Al Haramain is the more better choice, I'll say. Both of these are kind of inexpensive. You're going to pay like 20 some odd dollars for this. And I think around about the same for this one. Maybe 30 something dollar price range. Not expensive at all. Um, I do want a full bottle of this one. I don't like this cube. It is kind of big and bulky. Um, but for the most part it's not about the bottle. It's about the juice. People are not going to see the bottle unless you're wearing it around your neck as a charm. Like Flav or Flav. 
Anyway, yeah, Insurrection Pure 2 to me, scent wise, is better to me. LaVenture has a a little bit stronger kind of sharp I don't know if it just doesn't smell um, how do you say it natural it smells like like the pineapple smell in Insurrection smells like it's like shaved off pieces of pineapple to me Laventure you can smell the undertone of it something that wants to be natural but something gives it like a I hate using these words a synthetic or generic type vibe I just hands down in my opinion I love Insurrection Period 2 way better so for me, if you want to go for the smell and you don't mind having to reapply every every so often, um, maybe I think I got like four and a half to five hours of uh, longevity out of this, about an hour, hour and a half projection, um, which is not bad. And I don't mind reapplying because I take my bottle with me anyway whenever I go to work because I have my little bag, but. Um, I don't mind this one. Better smell to me. This one is not bad either. Um, either choice would be a good choice if you're looking for a clone or you're just looking for something in general that smells good and you don't have to waste 150 200 300 400 dollars on a fragrance. Then either one of these will make a good purchase. But this one to me doesn't smell as natural. As the other one even though that may not be natural either it just smells smoother a little better to me than this one so that's my comparison video guys once again make sure you jump over to Georgia gent subscribe to my man's channel uh, check out some of his videos he doesn't have an extensive catalog yet he just got into it um, but the video today is a must see me and my man got together we walked the we walked the pier. Uh, we even met another uh, colleague from the hospital that works in the emergency department. Uh, he's the first person we actually ran into sitting next to the pier. And uh, a few other people that we interviewed and, and let smell these fragrances. So check out the review so you can find out which fragrance won between Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold and Jeremy Fragrances Office for Men. Very interesting video. You'll be shocked to find out because I was actually shocked when I started hearing the first few people say what they like. So check that video out, guys. It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense. Here is to smelling great. Thank you, Matt. We need to get together one more time from Georgia Gent. Do another collabo video. I'm out. Peace.